People will be wearing poppies this week, some ostentatiously to reflect well on themselves like public figures, some sincerely, though often without much clarity about why. It's not as clear as it was after the World Wars. The great British journalist Robert Fisk often rails against poppies as symbols of warmongering. The poem they're based on in Flanders Fields by Canadian John McRae is on its face a warmongering or at least a pro-war poem. We are the dead, take up our quarrel with the foe. You can see Fisk's point. World War I was an obscene waste of young life like most wars since. But I think you can see another way to read the poem, though it's not what McRae meant. The foe becomes war itself and those who lead others to it. The young who died in World War I were told they were fighting a war to end all wars, so their motives were idealistic and noble, despite the lies they were told. That ability to behave nobly in a flawed, even awful cause is an endearing human trait. It may account for the poems and the poppies' longevity, a capacity images have to transcend their birth origins and live on in new, frequently contradictory ways. That might even be the definition of a living symbol, like the poppy. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.